Collins, one of the science specialists at Region 7. Today we're going to talk about a method of breaking down your standards. We call it a tech breakdown. I'm going to show you the simple steps to breaking down those texts. We're also going to look at examples from each grade level and then see if they match up to released test questions. Let's start by looking at this very lengthy tech from 8th grade. 8.5 has students describe the structure of an atom including masses, electrical charges, locations of the protons and neutrons in the nucleus, and the electrons in the electron cloud. This has a lot of vocabulary, a lot of content in it. Let's see what it would look like when we break it down. I first start off by identifying the tech with my students, and then we label the verb. And this tech, describe, is very important because they're going to have to describe all of these things that are over here. Mainly, the structure of the atom. So looking back at my tech, students need to describe the structure of the atom. These things down here are what they need to be able to describe, so we're going to put those in a different color. I'm going to use green for my including statement. Here, I'm going to put all of those little pieces into a bulleted list. Once I get down here, I'm going to change colors. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just do whatever feels comfortable for you. The locations of the protons and neutrons and the nucleus and the electrons and the electron cloud. From here, I'm going to put some boxes around some things. Here's a list of vocabulary words that I got right from the tech. Let's look at an item from the 8th grade released test that tests whether those students can describe the structure of an atom. In this question, they have to know protons, neutrons, and electrons and what the charge of those particles are, and what's located in the nucleus. So, does this test question directly relate to this tech? Absolutely. Here's another item from the release test. And this one, students need to be able to describe an electron. They also need to know charges, the mass, and other subatomic particles like protons and neutrons. And again, the students have to be able to describe the structure of an atom. Tech breakdowns really give us a visual of where we're going. With color and bulleted list, you really get to see where you're headed. We also really get a chance to focus on the verb. In this example from 8th grade, students need to demonstrate and predict the sequence of events in the lunar cycle. This question asks students to look at a satellite photograph and tell how the crater will change over time. If we go back to our tech breakdown, we're going to see that students need to interpret a satellite image identify the land features, and predict how it's going to be shaped, reshaped by weathering. And that is exactly what TEA did on this question. In the past couple years, our texts and our tests have changed, and you'll see a big change in your teaching and your students' learning if you incorporate this method of breaking down your standards. If you want more information, go to esc7.net and register for any middle school science session. I believe so strongly in breaking down the text that I incorporated in all of my trainings.